Hey guys, it's Anu. Just been thinking about y'all and kind of wondering if maybe you're kind of been feeling what I've been feeling lately. I, we've talked a lot about the season that we're in and really just tried to encourage you guys in your faith and and all of that and you know making the most of the time and what God wants to do and 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 we believe all of that and we stand by all of that. But I, I kind of wanted to share just maybe from the other side of all of this, because I know it's really what I've been feeling, especially in the past week. You know, I was talking to my friend Joyce, who you guys all know, and I was just telling her how in spite of us being on lockdown, in spite of us really not being able to go anywhere um, and stuff, I still feel like my plate has been really full. And I know a lot of y'all can relate to that too. I know for a lot of you guys, you have kids. So there's been a lot of homeschooling stuff going on, um, which is, um, you know, kudos to you guys for doing all of that. So in as much as we're supposedly in this season of rest, I think there's just been a lot of busyness too and a lot of stress um, that goes with that. And I know for me, because I'm, and I think a lot of us just as women were wired like this, we're such doers. So that if, when we finally maybe do take a minute just to, to rest and breathe, we almost feel guilty, like there's something else we should be doing. And I was feeling especially guilty today because I don't know about y'all, but um, a lot of my friends and family are like fantastic cooks. So um, I've been getting tons of pictures of all the different things that they're making and it just looks amazing. And I started laughing at myself because do you wanna know what was on our menu tonight? I'm gonna show you right now. Yes, this is what is part of our dinner tonight. And I was just thinking like, gosh, how embarrassing compared to what everybody else is making. So again, there's just this pressure even during this season just to be like Wonder Woman and to be the Proverbs 31 woman and all of these things. And I just was thinking of this really simple verse in scripture and it's, I couldn't even tell you the reference. I probably should have looked that up before I started talking to you guys. That would have been nice. But um, it was just this really simple verse where it talks about, it says, now Jesus loved Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. That's the verse, okay? Sorry again that I don't know the reference. But I was just thinking about that because, you know, we've seen in scripture where, you know, Jesus had kind of come on to Martha for, you know, being worried and consumed by all these things. And you know, there's sweet Mary and, and, and all of that. But the fact is, is that Mary who chose to sit at his feet and Martha who chose to be busy, he loved both of them. And I think I just needed to be reminded of that, that there are gonna be times that I'm gonna be busy and, and a little on the Martha side. And then there are gonna be times that I'm gonna just be able to rest and just, you know, kind of soak in this time, and, and that's good too. It's They're both good, but but no matter what I'm do, doing, if I'm making macaroni and cheese or, you know, a homemade, um, what's a homemade thing that all of y'all are making? See, I can't even think of that. I mean, like, this is crazy. But, but whatever it is, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me through all of it. So I just wanted to remind you that, I wanted to remind you of that too, that Jesus loves you. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be on all the time. You don't have to be productive. He loves you. And so that's all. Okay, I'm going to go eat my macaroni and cheese and put back on my sweatshirt that I had on. Bye, y'all.